time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update multi-select pick list values on a record in Zoho CRM. So I had someone come to uh, my website the other, other day, uh, Ether Automation, and send a message through our chat bot that uses Sales IQ, um, asking if I had any, um, any code or any videos on this. So I'm making this one specifically for that. Um, so let me go ahead and share my screen. And hopefully this is the right one. Otherwise it's gonna be a very short video. Great. So uh, I have, I'm sharing my screen right now. And I'm in a contact for uh, the new CEO of Tesla. And uh, the first thing we're, we're gonna wanna do is let's make a multi-select pick list. So multi-line pick list, multi-select, and let's put it here. And we're gonna call this one um, Crypt Crypto's Preferred. Right, and we all know the CEO of Tesla prefers, uh, you know, there could be uh, Bitcoin, could be uh, Ethereum, could be Dogecoin, and then there, there could be um, Holocoin, uh, Holo, I think it's hot. Cool. So now that we have a multi-select pick, let's go ahead and click save. And so for, um, the new CEO of Tesla, I have to go to contacts, go to the new CEO of Tesla. I can go ahead and say, okay, well, I know he likes Doge and Bitcoin, but he doesn't like the other ones, right? So now we have some, some values in here. So how do you programmatically, using Deluge, update these fields? It's actually uh, fairly straightforward. So let's go to um, make a new function. Um, let's click new function. This is going to be a standalone function. Uh, function name, update, multi-select, pick list. Cool. So let's start with some uh, some basic architecture here, All right? So the first thing we want to do is get the record with the related uh, with the multi-select pick list, right? Then we want to info that multi-select pick list, MSP we'll call it just to be, to be easier, right? Then we're gonna put one here for update this multi-select pick list with a new value. So let's go ahead and start, let's go um, contact, equals zoho.crm.get record by ID. We are doing the contacts and ID equals right up here, click paste ID. And next thing, and this is the one I'm gonna info, I'm gonna go info contact.get crypto underscore preferred. I don't know if I spelled that right at all. Spelling does count in coding. Oh. Cryptos preferred. So now let's just run this to show you what the uh, the output is. Don't forget your semicolons in, in both of these lines. So here it just shows that it's um, you know, two values separated by a comma. However, this is something that Zoho does. I don't know why they do this, but it, they, they actually don't show the type of data it is. So let's actually go um, info contact and let me show you how it act, it's actually stored. If you go here, let's just control F uh, BTC, you'll see that it actually looks like this. It's a string and a string separated by a comma in a square bracket, which makes this a list. So Zoho stores multi-select pick lists as list, as the list variable. So if we're gonna update down here, if we're gonna go uh, info, duh, info 
the ho.crm.update record, contacts, ID, and a value. We then need to say, okay, well, let's first off, let's make the uh, contact map equals map because we're, we, you know, we're not, we're not savages. Um, and then we're going to say uh, multi select pick list list equals list. Right? Because we know it's a list. Now I'm going to skip a few steps down here and we're going to go contact map dot puts and we know it's the crypto's prefer field and then i can go comma the msp list I copy this paste it here i have your semicolons now when i run this because there's nothing in the multi-select pick list it doesn't add to this field it overwrites everything that's there so watch if i save and execute it was modified. It used to say BTC and Dogecoin. Now, when I go to the record and click refresh, it says nothing. So what do we do? Well, the first thing we want to go do is go MSP list dot add all. And this is super important. And let's grab the crypto's preferred and paste that in here. What this is going to do is say that, hey, we're going to keep whatever's in there and we're going to add to it. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to add an option. So let's go uh, MSP list dot add. And here's the, the, the funny thing is we don't actually, it doesn't have to be what is already on that list. So let's say your, your favorite coin is uh, LTE Litecoin. Even though Litecoin is not on this list, you can still add it. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're adding the LTE coin. Now, when I go ahead and run it, it says it's been modified successfully. Now, when I refresh this page, or I can go to timeline. There. Oh, just this LTE coin. Da, 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 add all. Got to list. List, comma, whoops. Oh, yeah, LTE, LTE. Yeah, I forgot to, uh, we didn't start out with that same number. Let's go ahead, let's refresh this. It will have two LTEs in there. We're going to go ahead and refresh. We're going to add BTC and Dogecoin. And we're going to take out LTE. I forgot that when we nullified it, it did that thing. So now uh, it adds the cryptos that are in the list already and adds one more, which is LTE, and then re updates the contact. So I can run this code. And here are now the three cryptocurrencies that the new CEO of Tesla, which is our contact, uh, prefers. If I refresh my screen, here it is. I hope this is helpful. I'll see you in the next video.